I must say, you may not be an Eternal, but you are certainly not as temporary as many of your fellows. You handled yourself well. Personally, I am just glad that I do not have to walk back to Reaper's Coast. Wind travel may be primitive, but it is at least efficient. Livewood? You have taken a dead elf and carved it into a pleasure yacht? I knew you people were barbarians. I had no idea you were sadists, too. Well, no matter. Whatever gets me to Reaper's Coast quickly, I have an excavation site to explore. Well, you see, I have a rather pressing engagement at the Black... The skeleton breaks off mid-sentence as he notices your hand. He pulls out a notebook, flicking through it, running a finger down the pages. Physical contact, voice lowered, coy looks. Good heavens, is this a mating ritual? Why, that would be excellent. I have been curious about this for some time. The social interactions, the expectations, the mechanics. Come now, let's begin immediately. I shall compile my notes afterwards. Fane grabs your hand and enthusiastically pulls you behind the screen. Most unusual. I mean, I had read all the leading authorities on it, but I didn't think. It's just that thing you did with your tongue, it was quite unexpected. My goodness. It was certainly an experience, but I must admit, I was expecting something more. Not from you. Certainly not from you. It's just that I... Well, I felt nothing. Neither the warmth of your touch, nor the fire of your passion. I may as well have been shucking an oyster. Really? Even the part where you... My goodness. The skeleton pulls a notebook from his robes and starts scribbling. You can hear him muttering something about highly unorthodox, lack of sensation, and coccyx. You ponder his words as you pick up the last of your belongings. You're almost sure that's what he said. A team? What an interesting prospect. You certainly seemed capable in Fort Joy, and a companion on Reaper's Coast could be quite educational. Very well. I am open to this. I believe you normally spit on your palms to seal agreements, but I seem to lack the fluid and the desire to touch you. I hope a hearty verbal agreement will suffice. Very well. Let's be off. <laughs> 